Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another mechanized vehicle and this one is the Rock Crawler which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small compact mechanized spider that will walk around on a planet and even shoot enemies with its two rocket launchers at the front there. Pressing F10 and finding the Rock Crawler in the spawn menu. There we go, this thing is 412 small blocks using the Decorative Block number 1 and number 2 DLC packs as well as the Wasteland one just for some additional decoration. And we can see here a bit about the ship where it uses the precise timer script in order for the legs to function. So we'll give this a little thumbs up which I already have. Move around to the very front, tell my character to bugger off, there we go. And we'll just get a bit closer. So by the very front here this is what we get, we got ourselves a industrial cockpit to drive this thing around. To the left and the right of that a rocket launcher to blast your enemies with and as we move around the side we're going to see these lovely legs that come off a rotor onto a hinge onto some lovely yellow blocks onto some more hinges that come down onto a wheel block just to soften any impact that you take while walking around. If we come across and behind our cockpit we do have an LCD screen with a lovely logo on it and we can see a time block which is how the legs are going to move around. If you were to continue along the side here, not too much to talk about, but we can see our exhaust block shooting out some lovely electrical effects. And as we move all the way around to the rear of the ship, we do have a couple of thrusters just to help it out when it goes uphill, because a lot of mechs tend to be a bit slow and even risk tipping over without some additional thrust to help it out. Yes, we do have an ejector there just for some additional decoration. Then as we move up and above there, there's our exhaust blocks and we can see our barred window blocks just hiding up a few things. So we've got a projector block, which is how we're going to project out some lasers, which is going to be our laser sight. We've got a beacon as well as a hydrogen tank. And then moving all the way around to the very front here, we've got a little hidden parachute hatch, a sound block and a rotating light. If you were to drop down and come underneath the spider, not too much to talk about, but we do have a sensor block, which is Part of a detect enemy sequence, which I'm not too sure what it does. I played around with it for a bit, but I still don't know what it does, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. Then towards the back there, there is a bottom of an O2H2 generator, just to help out with our thrusters at the back. And that is a very brief look around the outside. So just grabbing hold of my character and coming into the cockpit, we'll now press number one, which is how this thing is going to walk around. So hiding the signals, pressing one, we're now going to charge along here with our legs lifting up and we're going to slowly start moving forwards without any need for thrusters. You can see the hinges there just wobbling around, just turning and the hinges moving up and down. And there we go. If I just turn that off and press number two, this is the block that I'm not too sure about. If I hover over it, it says it destroys enemies. And when I activate it, a remote control block takes over the ship and nothing much happens. If I just come over here and type in enemies, which will be then this one coming to set up actions. It uses the sensor block and the remote control block, but nothing else is given. If I just activate that, autopilot is now enabled and I can make it start walking and it'll just have a mind of its own. Number three is going to be for our thrusters at the back there where we can shoot ourselves along without the legs moving, but we will risk damaging the legs if we hit a small bump. So just switching them off and hopefully coming to a stop. We can then press number four, which will then be to fire our rocket launches. Now you will need to be careful because it isn't a click to use, it's a toggle on and off. Number 5 is for our laser sights which shoot out the front there and help you aim your rocket launchers. Number 6 is for our rotating the light on the top there. And number 7 is for manual control over our parachute hatches. Number 8 and number 9 is for our sound blocks where we can toggle 8. Where we get a spooky sound coming out of it. Number 9 is to simply turn it off. Tab number 2, 3 and 4 is empty. So now it's time to spawn in the enemy and I'll show you what I mean by the enemy script. There we go, that is now belonging to the space pirate faction. I'm going to come over to here, turn ourselves around to face it, then I'm going to activate the destroys enemy timer block. So activating that, nothing has happened. Making myself walk and even turning on the little laser sights. There we are. This is what it's doing. It doesn't seem to be doing too much, I'm not too sure what it's actually doing, but it's getting closer and closer. And yes, it seems to be just turning around and trying to avoid the Dex Fighter rather than trying to shoot it. And it does appear we got caught in a little hole. I'm just going to turn off the autopilot and move myself along. Come around to here and switch it back on. And there you go, it's trying to toggle it. It doesn't quite know what it's doing. It's just 
roaming around there. It's like it's trying to target it, but it's not too sure what's going on. But anyway, that is what that does. And we'll just continue to walk around like so. But that is it for the Rock Crawler Mechanized Spider. It's a fancy little mech just to roam around in and have a bit of fun with. And there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.